Hi, welcome to RC Helitech. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Compass 7HV Ultimate. This particular kit came from Dean over at redgumrc.com.au. The, the, the price of the kit was $970 plus postage. This particular kit comes with the Compass 510KV uh, brushless motor and Compass 700mm carbon fibre blades. Anyway, let's open up the box and see what's inside. Um, they provide you with a, a colour manual. Um, I believe they, they're using um, actual CAD pictures to illustrate what they want you to do in each step. Um, spindle bolt warning um, stating that the bolts are not tight nor nor are they thread locked so you have to check all over check that over and make sure <clears throat> your thrust thrust bearings and all that sort of stuff have have plenty of grease or you know not too much grease but just enough grease um, anytime I get a, a pre-built kit or a kit I like to start from, from scratch and pull everything apart and make sure everything's thread locked. I also like to uh, file off the edges so you don't get any chafing with your wiring um, and possible short circuits. <coughs> um, this sheet is just showing all of the um, Compass 7HV Ultimate uh, parts um, and part numbers. much of the same thing and much of the same thing for the last two sheets I believe that one sheet has all of the uh, all of the part numbers and part descriptions and quantities I don't know if it's just for this, for this sheet or if it's for all three you also get a parts list booklet um, each assembly is a blown up diagram uh, basically showing all the part numbers so your part number, part description and quantity per assembly um, also if you, if you get stuck and you're not sure how the um, motor mount goes together you can always go to the parts list and they've actually got an explode diagram of the uh, full assembly so I'm not sure why they didn't add that into the color manual but it's there if you need it um, we have a compass uh, aluminium boom it has a carbon fiber uh, tail rotor push rod I believe that there's a metal threaded threaded end metal rod that goes through the center of this also um, and you have your boom struts <coughs> packed in here also just to save, save on space they're aluminium also with uh, plastic ends bolted on Here's the Compass uh, SZ4926 510KV. This motor is capable of 14S, but I'll be using 12S just to see how it goes. They provide you also with a <coughs> um, blade caddy, which is fairly neat. Here is the flybarless head, the compass flybarless head. The machining seems to be very good. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, now, in this first bag, we have the tail rotor assembly, which is pre-assembled, but you will have to go through all the all the um, all the bolts and make sure they're all thread locked. Um, and also to make sure that you have grease in the thrust, thrust washers or thrust bearings of the tail assembly, tail grip assembly. 
Here are the Compass 115mm tail blades. I will be using these to, to try them out, see how the, the kit performs as a stock kit. Um, here we have fasteners for, I believe it's the landing struts and you have landing skid nuts, I think they call them for protection, rubber nuts or rubber skid bumps. Um, here are the linkages from swash to, uh, excuse me, from servo to swash. Here's the swash plate. Um, I'll be going through uh, and checking everything for thread lock. Actually, I'll be just pulling it apart and re-thread locking everything just to be safe. Here's the bottom carbon clip for mounting the or fastening the uh, the canopy at the bottom. At the top, there's actually a quick release quick release um, canopy mounts. Um, I believe that these are the fasteners for um, your servo, cyclic servos and tail, tail rotor servo. And these are the links that go from the swash up to the blade grips. Oh, as I mentioned. They also provide you with um, anti-static wire. Um, basically you mount this on your motor mount and then run it back to the boom and mount it on the boom. I believe you're supposed to mount it with this this hex bolt but I'm not 100% sure. There's another bag inside the canopy with your landing gear, landing struts, landing skid tubes. Um, so there's the, the struts, seem pretty beefy. Landing skid tubes. Um, this is the carbon fiber um, brace for the bottom of the heli. Um, here we have the um, the lower fastening mount for the canopy and I think there's some canopy grommets there as well and screws to fasten this clip. Uh, this is the anti-rotation um, swash guide. Uh, I've got a 10 millimeter solid uh, main shaft with the aluminium collar. Uh, here's the vertical fin. Um, they give you some straps for, to hold down your battery packs. Um, but that's pretty much all you get. You get two straps. So I suggest that uh, you get some extra straps or some extra Velcro because um, you won't have enough for uh, mounting ESCs and all that sort of business. Um, in this package is the motor mount. Oops. Pick that up later. But here are the spacers, the pinion, and both of the motor mounts, top and bottom. Oh, there's one more thing in here. There's the head button for the rotor head. Next thing is the canopy. It's a fairly large canopy. I really like the scheme of it. Um, yeah, I think that they actually have uh, another stock canopy that's green, but I prefer this one. Um, 
and now we have the frame set the frame set there it's a fairly beefy type frame setup it's fairly big um, there's the uh, tail rotor what do you call it, the tail rotor belt tensioner it comes with quick release uh, battery mount, well not really quick release but you have a battery tray um, I believe they're G10 so they're fairly cheap to buy which is good so you can always get a, an extra couple so you don't have to keep taking your batteries on and off the, the tray makes it a little bit easier to show you the, the main gear. Okay. Um, it's a CNC machine Delrin, I believe it's a Delrin uh, slant tooth main gear. It's a fairly beefy main gear and it's got the tail rotor pulley on the bottom. And I believe it's just got uh, your standard one way one way bearing sort of clutch type. end up getting the kit or the combo kit that I got you also have a set of main blades which are underneath the, the box this oh, they're usually stuck on the inside of the box bottom of the box there I'll just get rid of this and I'll show you the blades like I said I'm going to try everything out in stock configuration just to see how it goes and I may change the, change the blades to edge blades because that's what I usually fly. But they seem like a fairly good blade. They look very, you know, not, not bad at all. So I'm going to give them a go and see how they go. Anyway, if you have any uh, comments um, or concerns or anything like that, please put it in the comments section. Um, I was thinking about doing a build video of this, but I'm not 100% sure. And was going to ask you if you can give me your input and uh, if enough people want to see a build video I might try and tackle that. Um, hit the like button if you like the video and uh, thanks for watching. Bye!